Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mix your own nail polishes. They are commonly referred to as Franken polishes and there are two types. There are the unique ones that you create just by randomly picking colors, mixing them together and seeing what you get. And then there's the second type of Franken which is um, making your own type of nail polish that is a mimic or a dupe of an existing color. I'll give you a couple examples right here. This is a Franken polish and it is a dupe for Max Coconut Ice nail color. Now the trick with um, trying to recreate existing colors is to find someone that either has the color that you want to duplicate or to go online and simply find a very accurate color picture of the nail polish that you're trying to replicate. So the coconut ice, if you look at the nail polish itself or you look at a picture, it's a very um, peachy, almost with a tinge of pink uh, cream nail polish. So just by looking at it and describing it out loud, you know, okay, peach, and it has a little bit of pink. So right there, that kind of tells you. If you don't have any peach nail polishes, use orange, white, and then a pink to add that little bit of pink, and that's what was used to create this. Another dupe is this light dove gray color. It's a dupe for New Bar's Barricade. Um, Sally Hansen's Wet Cement is also very similar to this. Um, gray doesn't get any simpler. It's simply white and black mixed together. Then you have another one right here. This is a, a, oops, sorry, a dupe or a mimic of Max Peppermint Patty. And I made this myself. Um, yeah, really easy. The second one is to just randomly grab colors and mix your own. This is a perfect example. This was a magenta and it was a plain cream. I added a, a I don't know if you can see that. I added a silver pearl to it. And it gave me that color. This is Sally Hansen's Green with Envy, which was just a lime green cream color. And I don't know if you could see it, but I added some green cosmetic glitter to the nail polish. And so now it has glitter in it. Really easy. Very, very fun. You only need the most basic of supplies. You need an empty nail polish bottle. So something that you're almost done with or a color that you don't like or a nail polish that isn't any good anymore, simply empty out the bottle um, to get clear out any remnants, pour a little bit of nail polish remover in there, swish it around without the brush, um, and just rinse it out real quick. So this is all empty. This is just the top coat that I have. And the other two basics is just a white and a black. A black is to darken the color. A white is to lighten the color. You do need some basic um, color knowledge. I really highly recommend getting a color wheel. You can get these at any craft store. This one's from Michaels. Um, and it just shows you what colors go with what to simply mix the colors and try and get um, a completely different color. So today we're going to be making our own unique color. And I want to make a teal today and green and blue make teal. So I picked these two colors. This is Happy Ending from Sin Sinful Colors. And this is Electric Blue, which it's really not, but okay. <laughs> from Jordana. Uh, cheap little 99 cents uh, nail polish. I highly recommend that you get those um, for Franken polishes. That way if you create a color that you don't like, no big deal. You get rid of it. But in my opinion, there are no bed colors. 
So we're going to start off with the blue and we're going to pour some into the bottle. And then we're going to take our green, see here's the blue right here. Going to take our green. I'm pouring equal amounts of each, but there really is no rule. Just play around with the colors and see what you get. Okay. Okay, now when it comes to mixing the nail polishes, under normal circumstances, I would never recommend that you shake the polish especially when you're about to apply it to your nails, always roll it between your hands. The reason for that is because the nail polish, if you violently shake it, will get air bubbles in it and then the air bubbles will go on your nail polish and you don't want that to happen. So always roll your nail polish. But for mixing Frankens, as long as you're not going to be using the nail polish directly after you mix it, shake it really hard. You want it to be mixed really thoroughly well and already we've got this really really unique green color now this is a little bit too green for my liking so I'm going to add some more blue because I want it to be more more of a teal color so we're going to add some more blue And this blue bottle is almost empty, so I'll have another bottle to do a Franken polish with. And we're going to shake it up again. There we go. That's much more teal. And the really pretty thing is, is that this blue has a nice shimmer to it, so now this polish has a grade shimmer to it as well. And it's completely unique. No one will ever have this because you create it yourself, which is really, really fun. Now I could add, this color is ideal for spring, so I'm going to leave it just the way it is, but if you wanted to lighten it, you could use the white or darken it, and you can use the black. I'll be giving away one of the mint green polishes. This is a dupe for Max Peppermint Patty. I'm going to give this away and I'm going to give the teal color that I just created today in a giveaway. All you have to do is simply write enter me down below and I will choose a winner using randomizer.clog and good luck. If you'd like to find out more about Franken polishes, I highly recommend a blog. The blog's name is Dr. Franken Polish and she's great. She creates amazing colors. I will put a link in the sidebar. And if you would like to see how these particular colors were recreated, the Dove Gray color, the Max Peppermint Patty, and the Coconut Ice, I will put a link in the sidebar to my blog where I have a full description of how to recreate these colors. So that's it. Have a great day and have a lot of fun with your Franken polishes.